The subject called understanding. Understand when the enemy changes its treats. Uh, I want to, to, tell, to ask you, don't worry about those wicked, evil personality who have been uh, sent by the devil to come and bring destruction. Just concentrate because I'm talking about them. So they will not be happy. They will bring destruction. So just concentrate. Don't, don't, don't follow destruction. Their destruction is nothing. I have been telling you all the time. Even if they say what they are saying, it is not going to work. It is not going to, they want to bring destruction. Therefore, don't listen, don't look at them, just give me hearts. Keep giving me hearts. Say amen, punch hearts as much as you can. Divide the enemy. Just punch hearts, more hearts, and the rest say amen. So their destruction is not going to affect you. Nothing is going to affect you. You will be blessed. You are going to be set free. God is going to set you free. Don't worry about them because they are, their words are baseless. They have no power. They have, they, have, they have lost the direction. Amen. Thank you, Felma. Let's go. Understand what the enemy changes it is tricks. Understand when the enemy changes it is tricks. Understand when the enemy changes it is tricks. The devil the enemy is a liar and is a thief. He changes streets. He always changes his cunning. You know, he's, he's, he's wise, he's so cunning. So he changes because he, know, he knows that a Christian is not allowed to fornicate or to steal or to kill. That is what the devil knows. So, that, so he cannot bring that to you. He knows something that when he brings this to you, you will have it. Yeah, you see, a Christian, we are told to live righteousness or righteous, but you find Christian, we are not doing the right thing. So that is when the devil knows that you are a Christian and you are not doing the right thing. Then he, he come near, you come, he come. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you. So the devil, he knows that, that you don't, you know this, so he cannot come what you know. He will come with something you don't know. You take it, it's normal, but it's not normal. And then when he comes, he will, he will, he will come seven wicked, stronger than the one which has left. The Bible says, if, when an evil spirit gets out of a person, it comes with the wicked, seven more wicked than him. That's how the devil comes in. He knows that you, Christian, there are some things you can't do. And there are some things you do because of ignorance. So, you have to know when he changes his tricks. When he's using the arrows of devices, when the wicked using the arrows of devices, a device is a method or a plan of a trick for obtaining something. A device is the spirit realm are deadly and are not easy detected or, or, or easily destroyed. He showed, he showed, showed revelation makes you to discover anything about your life and the environment. He stressed critical importance of revelation in spiritual warfare, saying, our experts in the usage of weapon of war is useless. If you cannot identify the enemy or understand when the enemy changes its tricks, the enemy changes its tricks using devices, because the Bible says that we are not ignorant of the devices of the devil. So the devil uses devices. His device is, is to destroy you and it is, a, it is very critical. You can't detect this. Like now, if you strike with some sickness, you can go to the doctor, to hospital, no x-ray can detect this. People still are sick, but they found nothing, is, everything is normal. I was praying with a lady. She was suffering, she was she sick. But the doctor, they have tested her, everything, they, they said it's normal. But the woman is sick. Everything they saying is normal, but she's sick. 
So that is how the enemy uses tricks that defeats even the doctors. In the book of Psalms 11, verse 2, the Bible says, For see the wicked bend. See the wicked bend. Their, their power. They make ready their arrow on the strange that they may privately shoot at the upright in heart. So, when the enemy, when the wicked shoot you in your heart privately, he knows that I'm going to shoot on your heart privately without your knowledge. And then the life of the person will change. When, when he has shoot you in a private, in privately, that's what the Bible says. And then the life of the person will change. That's why you see some people, you can wonder, these people are so wicked. They, they have bad heart because the arrow has been shot there and they have no idea. They have no idea how to can get that arrow from the heart. The person will change, become like wild animals. That's why they kill people, blood cold. They don't care. They don't fear anything. When the arrow has been shot on the heart, that's why you see so many people. Some people you can tell they are so wicked. Even you can you cannot even talk about them. They they show you they are wicked. Like now, when the when the enemy has shot privately your heart, your heart will start sick, get sick. There will be some sickness. I am reading from Psalms 11, verse 2. That's the verse I'm saying. It is reading, it says, For see the wicked bend their bow, they make ready their arrow on the string, that they may privately shoot at the upright in the heart. Yes, that is what I'm... Yes. So when the heart is been, when the enemy shoot your heart, your heart will not be the same again. Even your loved one, maybe your husband, your wife, when they have shoot their heart, their heart changes. Then you find the person is changed completely. He doesn't talk to you anymore. He started fighting because an arrow has been shot privately in, in his heart. So this arrow is the, is the tricks of the devil, the, the devil, Satan. He shooted. The, he knows that if he come in drugs, if he come in alcohol, you will detect him. So he comes and shoot privately. And then when the arrow is being entered in the heart, people changes. You cannot talk to the person. Everybody will say, "What's wrong with this person? He used to be a good person. Now he has changed completely because the, the arrow, there is an arrow in the earth. That's why we need to pray spiritual warfare prayer." That's why you need spiritual warfare prayer to destroy the arrows that has been shot on the, on the people's heart. The enemy has tricks. That's, that, that's why you need to understand the tricks of the devil. You can, you can, fight, you can fight somebody outside and the, the arrow is inside. That needs to be destroyed by fire, by thunder, in the name of Jesus Christ. There is unsee ram in this world which affect our lives and the destinies. There is an invisible society behind all of physical evil occurrence in this world. These are cosmetic beings which operate below God but above humans. They have power to penetrate evil against human beings. They are sympathetic and austere spirits who are fighting for and against us. He said these and sea forces operate beyond human brains and the comprehension through proud men do not believe this. So these are the spirit which opera operates beyond human being. When it operates, no human being under would understand this unless you are in the spiritual realm. It's when you can understand this spirit. When the spirit, when the arrow has been shot to the to the heart, it 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 become very 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 difficult even to understand those people. 
they will start gang together against the, against the people of God. They will start fighting. That's why you see even Christian people, they, are, they have not done anything. They, are, they, are not, they have not done anything wrong just to speak the word of God, just to speak Jesus, to mention Jesus. Because the arrow has been shot on their heart, they don't want to hear that name. Let's look in the book of Jeremiah 11, verse 9. The book of Jeremiah 11, verse 9. The Bible says, Then the Lord said to me, There is a conspiracy against the people of Judea and who live in Jerusalem. So, conspiracy. The Lord told Jeremiah, There is conspiracy about these people among the people of Judea and those who live in, 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 in Jerusalem. When you look at, the, at, 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 when you look at, at chapter verse, verse 19, Jeremiah 9, verse 19, the Bible says, let's look at verse 18 and 19 to 20. The Bible says, Because the Lord revealed the approach to me, I knew it, for at a time he showed me what they were doing. I had been a gentle lamb like to the, to, be, to the slaughter. I did not realize that they had brought against me, saying, let us destroy the tree and its fruits. Let us cut him off from the land of the living, that his name be remembered no more. But you, Lord Almighty, who judge righteously and test the heart and the mind, let me see your vengeance on them. For to you I have committed my cause. As, we, as you see, Jeremiah, the people went and conspired against, against him. They wanted to destroy him because there is an arrow has been fired to those people. But, but Jeremiah said, you are a God who judges righteous and tests the heart and mind. So the Lord is the one who knows. Who knows the heart of a human being and the heart of those people who have been fired the arrows. So when they have fired the arrows in their, in their hearts, want to destroy you, conspiracy against you, want to destroy your children, what are you going to do? You will fire back, you will destroy those fire arrows. Because even evil arrows has, has been fired to, to their person and this person wants to destroy your life, what are you going to do as a child of God? You will destroy the arrows. You command those arrows to get out from, from them and let them go. They cannot affect you in the name of Jesus. Now, like for example, your husband who married you, who loves you so much. The arrow has been fired into his heart, privately as the Bible says. Now the man has changed completely. He doesn't talk to you. He, he abandoned you with children. He's looking for divorce. What are you going to do? You command the arrows. You, say, you don't have to fight him. Just say anything that has been fired in your heart. I destroy them. I destroy them. I bind them. I render them powerless in the name of Jesus Christ. You pray like this. Lord Jesus, let every device of the crafts assigned against my family, against my life, be disappointed in the name of Jesus. You pray every, every craft Every device of the Christ assigned against you and your family and your children, let them be disappointed in the name of Jesus. When you look at that scripture very closely, you realize how the enemy has tricks. That he, he knows how to attack people's heart. Then the people changes. The Lord, let the blood of Jesus destroy any power that wants to cut off your tree from the land of the living. You know, they said, they told Jeremiah, they want to cut the Jeremiah's tree. Tree means people. They want to cut you off and your family, your children. That's what the, the enemy is planning. He goes, he prepares somebody to come and destroy you. He prepares, that's why some people even go to pay the witch doctors. To, to curse you. Because of that evil arrows has been fired to somebody. Who is very bitter against you. So like that. You have to come against them. You have to defend yourself. 
they have, they, 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 have, they have arrows in their hearts. So people become so evil and bad. They want to kill you. They want to destroy you. You, you can't wait them to, to kill you. You have to stand firm against the arrows and refuse them. Against their tricks. You refuse in Jesus' name. My father, let any power that wants your name to be perished and not be remembered shall die suddenly dead in Jesus' name. I pray that any power that is deciding to wipe you, deciding to destroy your life, decided to come to, to, to attack you and, 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 and unknowingly, let this power to be destroyed in Jesus' name. Anything planned in you, secret, you don't know, privately, as the word of God says, let them be exposed and disgraced in the name of Jesus Christ. My Father, I thank you, I bless your name, I give you the glory, God. My God and my Father, I pray God, every witchcraft, every village witchcraft, every environmental witchcraft. Yes, Lord, my Father. Lord, I, Lord, I want to thank you. I have a phone number here. Anybody who wants to talk to me, having a question, you can call me on this number. You call me or email me, text me. I, I can answer you every question you have. If you can text me, you can email to me. Our number is 905-487-7196. I am ready to support you, to stand with you and pray with you and explain everything you want to know. And also you can email me. Our email address is overcomersdhm at gmail.com. Treasure. Can you put that email address for the people to see? So that anyone who have a question want to ask me, I can, I can help you to talk to you. I pray that God will deliver you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You have to pray spiritual warfare prayer to stop these arrows that has been fired to the heart of some people. People cannot kill you, cannot destroy your life, and you are a child of God. Because the enemy has secretly fire arrows to their hearts and they have changed. So you have to, to, to announce, you have to, to command special announcement. Every child of the devil went to the occult against me, against you. Yeah? You announce like this, you say like this, special announcement. Every child of the devil went to occult against me. Prepare your, your, your will and the work keeping because the God of a righteous shall disgrace you in Jesus name you command God of a righteous to disgrace them because this this is a very serious you need to war against the enemy I am telling you that the enemy is there and they do things that that you don't know so it's better you stand against with those, whatever they are planning against your life to destroy them before they destroy you before they, they, they destroy you you have to destroy them Jesus Christ came to destroy the works of the devil. There is nowhere Jesus was preaching or was talking nice words. So if you hear me talking like that or, or praying like that, it is the prayers that we prepare from the scriptures. We make it the, the prayers. So like now, if you pray like this, these prayers, it will work. Because you have to know how to attack the enemy. You have to know who is your enemy. You have to know the tricks of the devil. The tricks of the enemy. So you use fire. You command the fire of God to burn down every arrows of the devil. Every tricks of the devil in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every power pressing, pressing you down. I command them to come out and go in the name of Jesus Christ. To, they have to leave you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The power starts pressing you down. They come in a secret and started pressing you down. They don't want you to rest up. They press you so hard. Let them be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Any power that is aff affecting, you, affecting you with sickness, with diseases, with anything, I destroy them in the name of Jesus. Let Jesus Christ, the son of the living God, destroy them in Jesus' name. I thank God that God is able to deliver you in Jesus' name. I thank God that God is able and He will deliver us. He will not leave us in the hands of the enemy. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
I want to thank God for you. Thank you, thank you for everyone that has come. May God bless you so much. Go to our website, www.overcomersdhministry.blogspot.ca www.overcomersdhministries.blogspot.ca and our our email address is overcomers dhm at gmail.com our numbers uh, we have the number our number the phone number 905-487-7196 let me write for you hallelujah praise be the name of jesus treasure I know maybe you are working. That's why you can't do that. 905. Yes, yes. 905-487-7196. That is correct. That's the number, the right number. So you can call me in that number or you can call me on our cell phone. You can text me. Our cell phone number is 647-608-5207. Yeah, yeah. If you are you have a cell phone, you can text me. I will talk to you, and I will pray for you. I am here to show. My, I'm, I'm going to show myself to you, and I'm here to teach you and help you to understand this the spiritual warfare prayer. God bless you so much. I'm going to stop here, and I might come tonight or tomorrow morning. So I am on. I have very. I have hot hot prayer to prepare. Okay. Yes, yes, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you, treasure. Uh, God bless you, God bless you. I have to stop here. And uh, remember, we, 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 are, we are having so many uh, videos in our YouTube, our website. You, it can help you. It can help you. I got a very impressed email from somebody, and this person is from Saudi Arabia. These videos that the person... In fact, uh, I can even read for you the, the email. The person has been following me, and the, 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 the prayers has, de has delivered him. He was so much happy, and he, he wrote a very good email. There are some people in Middle East, Saudi Arabia, this person. He just emailed me from there, and he thanked God for what we are doing here. So the, the videos are there. It can help 